family affectionately calls me Sandy. My name is Sam Siray. Um, I was asked to put some words together on behalf of the family, and it was very difficult because I realized that I don't have such a rich relationship with, um, as you understand, second cousins, right? But I spoke from the heart, and I'm going to try to make it through because over the last few years, Howard has been, I'm sorry, cousin Howard has been very instrumental for me. Two years ago, um, I had congestive heart failure. And Cousin Howard called me, he prayed over me daily. And I did not realize the impact of prayer. I mean, my mother was a praying woman. Um, but he called me daily. And he prayed for me without my asking. And it meant a lot, I'm here today. The doctors did not think I would make it. And um, so it was hard to even put very few words together, but what is the legacy? Today we are celebrating Howard Pierce, the legacy of love. And when we think of a legacy, most of us go directly to property, money. What do they leave me, right? But when we, when I think of Howard, his legacy is so much greater than money, property. Amen. His is love. For me and for many others, Cousin Howard was a prayerful, thoughtful, benevolent, beyond you could ever imagine, selfless man who literally would give his last dollar if someone needed it. And God used him to bless us. I don't think most of us even realize that. But he was a blessing. His blessing was to bless us. And as I said, unfortunately, I didn't have the pleasure of truly knowing him as long as most of you have. Our relationship strongly began as I realized that he was a church, a, a member of Corinthian Church. When I went to talk, speak to a friend, and there he sat in front of her. I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so we kind of joked about that. And when I found that, it was truly a blessing.